right, my name is Jessica Miller. I'm the Communications Manager for Make-A-Wish Illinois, and today we're super excited to be working with the Chicago Police Department on granting Finnegan's wish. Finnegan was diagnosed with a life-threatening autoimmune disorder several years ago, and it requires a lot of work to keep him healthy. He gets hospitalized several times a year, and he has some really icky uh, procedures he has to go through to stay healthy. Uh, we are delighted to be working again with the Chicago Police Department on a, a superhero wish. Uh, Lieutenant Stash has helped us with a couple of other related wishes, and we know that the men and women of the Chicago Police Department are enthusiastically participating. They love to work with uh, co-partners who are saving the city. We need more heroes, and so we're uh, very excited to be have the community come together. Wishes are really important for kids for a number of reasons. It not only provides a bright light during a dark time of their lives, but we understand through recent research that hope can really impact their physical health. Giving a kid something to look forward to, giving them the reminder that they can do all kinds of things and help them have strength through all of their treatments. All of these things come from wishes and we are very excited to be a part of wishes and making sure that every kid who needs one has one. some training for appointment as a temporary officer in the police department. Once he gets done with his training, he's going to be certified as an official superhero. So we want to give him that big round of applause and an encouragement so he can get through his training, we get him certified, and then he can help us out on Sunday catch some arch enemies in the city. Right? You think you're ready? Yeah. I don't know. Let me find out. Hold on a second. Let me take a look at what I got over here. This is something we can do. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Uh, did we uh, certify him? Oh, yeah, absolutely. He did a okay. great job out there. So He's the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to give you a graduation certificate from the police academy for superhero training. The certificate of completion is awarded to you, Finnegan for the outstanding completion of required superhero training at the Chicago Police Education and Training Academy. How's that? Good. Good man. You're one of us. So you're Galacto, right? Yeah. Well, we got to make sure that you're properly certified as Galacto, because you know we don't allow just any superheroes around in the city. You got to be, <laughs> got to be certified. This is like your version of the badge, man. This is the really important thing. So this certificate says not only have you completed and been awarded your superhero training, but you are now officially Galacto. Hey! So, Listen up. So here's today's operation. Sergeant Reynolds and the crew, you guys, we got the notification from the detective division. They've identified that bank robbery crew that's been hitting us real heavily. It's a guy by the name of T. Storm, and he's got another guy with him. He's called Evil Doer. The car's been identified as a uh, white Toyota Sequoia. We got some uh, lookout messages on him and all of that. We're going to have a roll call. We've got a new superhero to join the police department on Friday. Just completed his training. He's got some special skills that we'll introduce at roll call, 
and he's going to help us locate these guys and take them into custody. So that's today's mission. One way or another, T-Storm and Evildoer, with the help of our new superhero, Galacto, he's got to go to jail today. Okay? That's the mission. Hey, Galacto, how did training go on Friday? Good. Everything's all set? You ready to help us out? Yeah. Big mission today, man. We got to find them two guys, right? Okay. It's a notorious bank robbery crew, that Evil Doer and that T-Storm. So we got a bunch of guys. We're going to have roll call. We'll discuss how we're going to plot this out, and then we're going to make the arrest. How's that sound? Good. All right, buddy, give me a fist there. All right, let's go. So today we're going to try to hunt those guys down. It's the primary job today, all right? We got a new superhero with us that just completed training on Friday and was certified by the Academy. And we're going to bring him up. He's got some extra superpowers that are going to help us track these bad guys down. This is Galacto. Come on up, Galacto. Superpowers you're bringing to us. I ha I'm half alien. I have a blaster arm. I have electric belts. I can create force fields, and that's it. All right, not bad. Right. 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 Got better equipment than we do. All right, so here's the game plan today. We got to do a couple things. First of all, these are bank robbers. You know, bank robbery is a federal offense. So I've been talking to the guys in my unit from the FBI. And we got to make you an honorary junior special agent from the FBI, okay? So we've got you your FBI badge today also, in addition to everything else. And we've got your FBI hat, your Secret Service hat, and some other stuff here. Donations from the Fraternal Order of Police, so you've got all your uniforms in that. So we're going to take this with us, okay? okay? But you've got your superhero uniform on, and that's the most important thing. Yeah. That's Sergeant Greg Reynolds. That's your partner for today. You're going to have to keep him safe. You think you'll be able to do that? Yeah. Absolutely. You guys will be the leaders of trying to make this arrest, okay? All right, let's sit down and have roll call. All right, guys. Sergeant Reynolds is going to pass these out. we got a couple of be on the lookouts for these bad guys. This is uh, T. Storm. He's the leader of this bank robbery crew. So we're going to try to uh, hunt his uh, butt down. <laughs> and we also have we also have Evil Doer. This guy's probably one of the most notorious bank robbers out there. He's been working with this T-Storm for quite a while. Now the detective division says they're in a white 2012 Toyota Sequoia. So here's the game plan. Sergeant Reynolds and Galacto, you guys are going to go over to the helicopter unit. Okay? We'll be on standby and start searching the downtown area. You guys go up in a helicopter and look for the car. See if you can find the car. And then what you'll do is come on back down. We'll all rally up. And then we'll see if we can get these guys. Sound good to you? Yeah. All right? Anybody got any questions? No, yes, sir. All right, so that's going to be the game plan. We're going to put the Galacto up in a helicopter, see if we can find these guys. Let's make sure that we uh, hunt these back alleys and these parking lots and see if we can find this car. And then once we do, Take these guys into custody and make the city safe. What do you say? Yeah. Thumbs up. <laughs> and away. All right, guys. Anybody got any further questions or anything? No. All right, let's hit the street. <laughs> Galacto, 
We need to look for the white Toyota. Well, get in. Okay. Let's go. Let's go get him. Okay. I think that's the bad guy up there, isn't it? City safe every day. We've never done it as well as you have, so thank you for keeping our city safe. Okay. Thank you. You too. Thank you for being here. We had an issue with a bank robbery crew that was plaguing the city. Led by the notorious T Storm and his associate evildoers and some other bad guys. Earlier this week on Friday, we enlisted the help of Chicago's newest superhero, Galacto. <laughs> spent some time with us at the Academy and was certified in police work and earlier today I'm proud to announce that we were able to locate and apprehend this notorious bank robbery crew and both T Storm and the evildoer are presently in custody. The Chicago Police Department owes a great amount of gratitude to Galacto's help. There's no way we could have done this without him. His strength, dedication, and perseverance held through and is an inspiration to the entire Chicago Police Department. On behalf of the Police Department, I would like to give him an honorary recognition award, and it says this awards the certificate to Junior Police Officer Finnegan Galacto Kuzniar in recognition of your bravery, strong detective work, dedication to keeping our community safe, and an unrelenting heroism. And it's signed by the Superintendent of Police and the mayor of the city of Chicago. So, Galacto, being the top police officer in the city of Chicago, I want to tell you that now I can sleep a lot better at night knowing that you're in our city and wanting us to protect us, okay? But I'd like to say on the June 9th, 2019, Finnegan and Galacto Cozenar, on behalf of the Chicago Police Department, we want to congratulate you on completing your junior police training at the Timothy J. O'Connor Education and Training Academy. Your hard work and dedication did not go unnoticed as you trained hard and prepared to capture the nefarious T-Storm and his band of evildoers. The city of Chicago is forever 
indebted to you, and we'd like to thank you for your bravery, commitment, and dedication to keeping our community and city safe. Your unrelenting heroism is an inspiration to us all. Keep up the good work, stay strong, Fagan, and again, as Chicago's top cop, I can sleep better at night. I want to thank you for helping us put these bad guys in custody. As you know, as mayor, one of our most solemn responsibilities is to keep our citizens safe. And the police department was trying to, uh, very, very hard to make sure that they identified and apprehended T-Storm, but we were at a loss. And so when I talked to the superintendent and he told me, we have the answer. Galacto has answered the call. He is going to use all of the powers um, and his, his uh, ability to track down T-Storm and his band of evildoers, I felt much more comfortable. I felt safe. And I want to say you were, you were courageous, you worked hard, um, you fought the bad guys who weren't willing to give up, but you have done the, the work that's necessary to keep our, our community safe, and I am forever in your debt. <clears throat> I have a letter of appreciation uh, for Galacto, and I just want to say, and he's committed to, if we need him again, he's ready to come back into action. Thank you very much for the happy. are amazing, amazing experiences that are for that moment, but they last forever. So you are in our minds forever as a part of this wish for Blanco. So thank you so much for doing this. Thank you to the city of Chicago. Um, you did a great beach day for the city of Chicago. Thank you to the city of Chicago for participating. Thank you to Mayor Lori Lightfoot for coming out and being a part of this experience. Thank you to our Superintendent Johnson, uh, because his team was amazing. They have trained Galacto. They have taken him on every piece of equipment that they have <laughs> to make sure that he gets to every villain that's around. And they have just been great partners for us in so many, many ways. Um, the, the gentlemen who have been here as um, the villains and Spider-Man, uh, those are wonderful volunteers that are wonderful for us. And we are here because of Navy Pier. And Navy Pier is a wonderful venue. Um, uh, the head of Navy Pier, Marilyn Gardner, has been a wonderful partner for Make-A-Wish over the years. And so thank you so much to Navy Pier as well. So I just wanted to say thank you. A couple of weeks ago, we did a, a very special thing. Uh, we had a, a gala. And we introduced uh, Galacto and, and shared with all of the folks at the gala that his wish was going to be granted. And we made him take a pledge. So the pledge was, I don't know if you remember this, truth, justice, and make a wish. Do you remember that, Finn? Yes. And he did an amazing <laughs> job, and boy, did he carry that out. So thank you so much to you, Galacto. Yeah.